Hi Taurus, welcome back. So Taurus, this is going to be your mid-January reading and let's get started. So the energy I'm feeling for you, Taurus, is the Mars energy. It's all about action. It's all about your desires, your impulses. You might be a very uh, forceful energy, a force to be reckoned with during these next two weeks, all right? It talks about strength. It talks about being... Um, determined um and it also highlights your physical well-being so if you've had any goals to get in shape or to work on your physical body this would be a good time to start them for some of you you're just you know um focused on that or you should be you know um if that's something that you have been wanting to do this can be a very leadership driven type of energy but watch it because any energy can go from positive to negative, right? So if you're not careful, it could definitely lead to like anger or like an argumentative type of vibe. So definitely watch for that, okay? <laughs> Let this uh, energy give you more willpower, but not take away your power. And when you engage in conflict, when you lower your energy like that, that's exactly what you do. You give up your power. So keep that in mind during these next few weeks, all right? So the other energy that's highlighted is the Ten of Cups, which is all about the home. You might be finding emotional fulfillment within your um, home, within your surroundings, within family. Um, this is a very like family-oriented energy for me, um, or that simply could be like where the focus is. So I feel like, you know, keep at it, Taurus, because there's a lot of um desirable energy here honestly so if you channel this the right way uh, it certainly could end up with a very emotional emotionally fulfilling outcome but who doesn't want that you know um and then your moon card says it's a time for healing okay interesting so taurus let's see the energy that you are coming out of it's the recent past four of wands Ace of Cups, the Fool. Woo-wee! That's good energy. <laughs> this is stable. This is stability. This is your home. This is your family. This is wherever your emotional fulfillment comes from. For some of you, it's career. All right? So it's going to be different for all of you. But it's finding that love. Having that self-love. Feeling like you have enough to give. You know, one of my favorite sayings is never wish for everything, just always wish for just enough. And really think about that. It's, you know, it's like feeling like when you have a lot of self-love, when you are in that space, it's hard to rattle someone that's feeling good. You know what I'm saying? Like if you are not in that space where, or you're lacking love and you're uh, the opposite of that, you know, you walk around just dynamite ready to pop off on anyone and people are like, what the hell's wrong with Bob, you know, <laughs> just making up a name. But when you have that empathy, when you're in a stable emotional place and you're uh, surrounded by chaos, the whole room could be on fire and you'd be like, it's a beautiful day, y'all, you know, <laughs> nothing can shake you. Um, when you're really, truly, truly in that spot. So things that would usually irritate you or push your buttons, it's like, oh, you know, no biggie. Um, we'll figure it out, you know? <laughs> so I like that energy. That's your recent past energy, okay? Some of you have had some uh, new opportunities come your way in the recent past, or for some of you, absolutely new love or a renewal in that, all right? So let's bring it into the present, the present energy for Taurus. All right, so this got interesting. So a few different things here. Um, it came out the Ten of Swords, the Page of Wands, the Page of Swords, and the World card. Okay. Um, a little bit skeptical over your own happiness much? What the heck? 
who gets skeptical over being too emotionally well off or like having like I feel like some of you are like okay it's like when's the shoe gonna drop you know what I'm saying and literally do not attract that to you watch your thoughts if that's where your thoughts go when things are going well it's like okay well this is only temporary we all know that let that go because that that is not going to serve you any good all right and I see that here some of you are definitely, definitely having endings and new beginnings. And I know that's so cliche to say, but I mean, it doesn't get any clearer than the Ten of Swords of Page of Wands. Um, but it's like the endings or like whatever this is, it was death to old ideas about yourself. Death to old ways of thinking. And it's like a very youthful type of energy that you're bringing to the table now. New creative ideas coming through. Um, and really success here if, if you don't get in your own way with that skepticism, with that pessimism. Now, I feel like if you know, you have some things going on in end of January, early February that feels stressful to you or painful to you. It'll be really super important that you don't get impulsive here with your actions or your words because it will definitely bite you in the butt. This is saying don't perpetuate any of those types of cycles. Remember Bob and, and irritated Bob at the very beginning. If you skipped through the beginning, I can't help you, but, and I know some of you do that, but, uh, you know, that person that walks around irritated all the time. If you let that person push your buttons because you're not feeling this emotional maturity at the moment, it's going to bite you in the butt. Okay. So. Don't become irritable, Bob. Stay, <laughs> stay your calm, emotionally intelligent self, Taurus. Okay, so let's see where this is going. Future energy. So you have here, oh my gosh, the hanged man. The Three of Swords. Judgment. Ace of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. So, this is going into the future energy. There is, you know, uh, seeing something from a different angle, okay? There's a part of you that's still very hurt. Very hurt. And this could stem from the recent past to the present energy. For some of you, the way, way past, it doesn't matter. There's definitely hurt that you're carrying around here with you. And you are allowing that piece of you that still hurt make decisions for you. Why would you do that? Do you know what I'm saying? Like... Um, or some of you may feel compelled to make decisions from a place of hurt. And here's one thing I always tell people, okay, in the career world. And this could be career or love. I'm just giving you an example. I always tell them, never, ever, ever send an email or an IM message when you are emotional. Why? Why? Well, one, you've now put it into writing and the person reading it is not in the same emotional realm that you are. So they're going to interpret it however they're feeling in that moment. And it's going to lead more than likely to a major miscommunication. Two, nine times out of ten, you're going to regret it. Okay, so I feel like some of you need to hear the that message of, you know, when you're feeling uh, an intense emotion, whatever it is in January, February, put your phone away. <laughs> get off social media. Okay. Or give yourself a breather. 
before you be tweeting and texting and emailing and IMing and stuff because it will definitely come back and slap you. And then you're going to get some, you, you might get slapped with some judgment here. Harsh judgment. Harsh truths. Some of you might deliver a harsh truth because at the moment or in that moment, you may feel hurt. Careful with that. You know, this is saying, be the hanged man. It's not saying, don't communicate. It's saying, take that pause to let the emotion go. Then, communicate. Because a lot of times, if you do that, what you would communicate will be much different than what you would have communicated had you done it right there in the moment. So this is saying make wise decisions. All right. Some of you are getting judgments, like legal judgments, something to do with that uh, in the um, month of January, February. That's just a few of you. You might have been waiting on this. It could be related to money or career. Um. So I see some, if nothing else, some new information coming through on that, Taurus. For those of you dealing with that, yes, the Hierophant here. Take the higher road. They don't call Taurus the Hierophant for nothing. You're the best at doing this. You're the best at keeping your cool. It's really hard to push a Taurus there. It's really hard. All right. So, I, I, like I said, I do see some new information coming through that you've been waiting on, new communication. That's going to mean something different for all of you. Um, I think that it allows you to move this energy forward. So, in that respect, I see it positive. I think that you should, you know, be careful not to get into your own way during this time frame. And yeah, that's a really strong message there. So let's go into the person you're dealing with, Taurus. Um, if you're not interested in this part, then that's where the reading ends. But for the rest of you, the person Taurus is dealing with, your cards just shot out. So let's see. <laughs> All right. So person you're dealing with is the Fool energy. You have the Fool here. On your side, the Ten of Swords, you had the Ten of Swords, same card on your side, and the Magician. Interesting combination there. So I feel like this person here, Taurus, they, they have a very impulsive energy about them as well. And this might be the person that's really pushing your buttons or um, that's caused you the pain that you're coming from. All right, this might be a highly manipulative person for some of you. This is not the greatest energy out so far. <laughs> um, for others of you, because that's not all of you, this person may be, in the recent past, had like a false start here, where it's like they may have gotten very excited. Oh my gosh, yes, this is finally happening. And then it flatlined, whatever that is. I think this person has kind of a very impulsive, angry energy about them. The way these cards are flying out. But, like I said, it's going to be different for all of you. Page of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Strength card in the reverse. So, here's that page energy again. I feel like this person keeps trying to invest in something that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Okay, because here they are trying to have a new beginning and it falls apart right away. Then here they are trying to put something into creation, trying to plant a seed and then it goes broke. You know, they invest in something that is fake, that is doesn't have any return on it. They manifest, but what do they manifest? Weakness. This is a very imbalanced person here. Very imbalanced. And I feel kind of bad for them. Things definitely haven't been going their way. 
all right so they may have wanted for a few of you a new beginning with you and it totally flatlined it totally fell through um and there's some sort of uh, something going on behind the scenes if that's the case for others of you it's just like things in their life like they may try and launch a project and then they don't see it through or they save money but like in all of the wrong things or they just don't make like good dis life decisions all of the time um they may not have the knowledge or the tools necessary to be able to do that so then we have the king of swords the Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this is interesting energy. So in the, re in the future, this person's going into kind of a contemplative vibe. Okay, they're really being driven by their desires. Their desire for money. <laughs> or another opportunity, if nothing else. I don't like this person's vibe. This ain't going to be for all of you. If this is resonating with you, you know. But I think that if this is, this is the person who caused you to feel hurt. This is the person who may have backstabbed you even. Or you had some sort of ending with, if nothing else. And like this person is creatively thinking of ways to either get another opportunity with you, Taurus. Or to get money. But because they're going about it in kind of an underhanded, manipulative way, the universe keeps and it keep the universe keeps like stopping that from manifesting, you know, because karma won't support you if your intentions are shitty. They won't. The karma will fool you into thinking that things are going your way. But eventually, you know, it always comes back to slap that ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Excuse my reference, but you know? Um, so that's what I feel like is happening over here. It's like, um, look at me. I'm having a new beginning. Oh, shit, that fell through. Okay, I've got a new investment idea or I'm going back to school. Just kidding, I'm broke. You know, like that, that's examples, but that's what I'm saying. And it's because the intention here is not solid. What's the queen of wands? And this is the person I think pushes your buttons. All right. But this is also the person that they're I'm telling you that you need to be very thoughtful in the way that you communicate here. So this is getting really interesting. So Taurus, I wanted to know what the ace, what the queen of wands energy was. This is the desire energy here. And this is the nine of pentacles. This person desires to be independent. They desire to have a wealth or new opportunities, if nothing else, commitment for some of you, if this is love. They desire to have love, ace of cups. You also had the ace of cups. They want to move forward in that most absolutely, most definitely. But I feel like they've had a lot of failed attempts in the past, either with you or prior situations, prior people. And it's really knocked them down quite a bit. But I do feel that this person... They're kind of all over the map as far as their emotions go. Like they're in their head and then they're kind of being driven by impulse and then desire. And then, you know, they're you know, thinking of, this is crazy. <laughs> 
some of y'all dealing with the loony bin over here. I don't know. <laughs> and I don't, I'm not usually this harsh because I have empathy for everyone. And this is a person too, right? But I feel like this person is all over the map. It's like they're testing the waters in so many different ways. It's, it's like uh, they're being very logical when you want them to be logical, but then at the same time, they're very impulsive. It's like they change their dynamic in whatever environment they're surrounded in. So it's like if they're surrounded by people who are very outgoing, they're very outgoing. If they're surrounded by people who are like very emo, they're very emo. You know, if they're surrounded, you know, those are some examples and there's certainly nothing wrong with like trying to adapt to your surroundings, but this is like, this is something that would stand out as a behavior trait. Like would have most people like that something doesn't feel right about that. You know what I'm saying? So I think that caution with that, I do feel this person wants, um, it's like they're here and they're, and they're wanting to offer like the page of cups energy, which is like a friendship or an apology for some of you, or it's something very small. And then they then jump from that to, okay, I want it all. They're just, even if their intentions are good, they're rushing into things and they're not thinking clearly. All right, and so if you if you react to this energy in the same way it is reacting to you, it will blow up. It'll actually hurt you. That's why I think you're being asked to take the higher road and to pause before you communicate. So like if this someone, also too, if this is someone that's communicating like, yes, definitely, I want you, no one else. And then you immediately respond, this person may the very next day change their mind. And then you're left looking stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's an example as well. Like, I'm getting lots of different examples of how this could play out. It's going to be different for all of you. And then you're like, wow, I really wished I would have waited to make sure they were genuine before I responded back. Now I'm hurt. You know, so this is saying like this person's come may come at you or may have this energy of like now or never, you know, and then I'm going to take it back. Um, and it's like saying, don't play into that. Don't da -da 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 -da. you do it on your time. You respond on your time. If this person's mind changes that frequently, don't give them your time. You know what I'm saying? I can't preach at you any longer. What are we? 23 minutes. <laughs> I felt this reading for you, Taurus. I did. Felt it. Um, person you could be dealing with. <laughs> Certainly an Aries, Leo, Sag. Lots of fire out. All right. But could also be a Taurus, a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um. Possibility of Virgo, Capricorn, or Scorpio. So those are the predominant zodiac signs I'm seeing. But keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it doesn't really matter. If it resonated, it resonated. Also, don't click off yet. Please do check out my social media account links down in the description box below. I have a Facebook, I have an Instagram, and I have another YouTube. I don't do tarot there, but I just kind of blah, blah, blah. If you're interested in that, click on the um, little arrow, and it'll drop down the description box, and you can click on any of the links there. Um, and also, now, in addition to being able to like, share, and subscribe for free, and please do, you can also become a member for a nominal fee and get additional videos, additional goodies with me. Just click the blue join button. And then also I have merchandise, so check out my merchandise. The shop is linked below. Wishing you guys the best, Taurus. Till next time, my friends. Namaste. Bye.